Hello and welcome to Back to White Bit. Today I thought I'd do a quick video just to demonstrate how easy it is to load games using the uh, ZX Spectrum core on the Mr. FPGA. Now there are I know there are many people out there that uh, do understand how to load games using the Spectrum, uh, but there are quite a few out there that are very new to these systems. And if you don't know what you're doing, you haven't done it before, it is quite daunting not knowing which commands to use and the best way to load these games. And I have seen this question raised quite a few times recently uh, where people are new to the systems on how to load a particular game. There are a few ways to do this using the core and I'll take you through some of them now. There is also a known bug with some of the ultimate games uh, where you do need to put in a, a command prompt long before loading the game and I'll talk you through that as well when we get to that stage. I will also say that uh, when the computers were made back in the 80s when the 1 to 8k computers were released there was a known issue back then when some of the old 48k games were not come backwards compatible with the 1 to 8 machines. This is one of the reasons why they did put this menu system in on the open screens of the ZX Spectrum and allow you to go down to the 48k basic mode to load some of the early pre-1986 games. Majority of the 48k games will still work in 1 to 8k mode, but there were a few that uh, may cause problems. And to be honest, you don't need to load a 48k game in the 1 to 8k mode because you're not going to get any benefits anyway. I'll get this all started up and uh, we'll go through a few uh, game introductions. Now, first of all, you let's try and load a standard game. This is the easiest way of doing it, really. You go to tape loader. You hit F12 on your menu system and you load a game. Let's uh, let's try that one. So you just loaded it into the system as you normally would do, would do with the mister. And then you press enter for tape loader and it will load that game for you. Okay, we do a reset. The other way is, and again, this is a slightly slower way if you want to experience the tape loader as it should do. If you press the tape loader button first and press enter, you get the loading screen and then you can go into the F12 menu again, select your file and again, select your game and it will start to load. And you say it's not instant this time, but it just takes you through the normal loading screens that you would get when you play an old classic 80s Spectrum game. Okay, we're not going to wait for that to finish. We'll just reset now. Whoops. Now let's go to 48k mode. So if you do, are, you are loading a 48k mode game. You go to 48k basic and it takes you to the main loading screen. Okay, there's a simple command that you use to run a game. So again, exact same process. Hit F12. And we'll load a game. Let's go to Chopper Defense and press Enter. And it takes you straight back to that main opening screen of the 48K Spectrum. Okay, so once you're back to the home screen, all you do is simply press the J button on your keyboard, which brings up the load prompt. And then you hold your control button down if you're using the standard keyboard and press the P button twice. And that brings up the quotations. You press enter and then it loads the game. Do a reset. There is an also another trick you can do. So we go to 48K basic. You can load up the tap file in exactly the same way. So we use the same one. And instead of using the J load quotation quotation mode, you can quickly hit F10 on your keyboard for the Mr. FPGA core. And what it will do, it will reset the computer and automatically put load quotation quotation marks in for you. So I press F10 now. And it does it all for you. A simple shortcut. 
to loading a 48k game. Now, what I do want to show you is a bug that is known to some of the Ultimate Play of the Game titles with a Mr. FBJ Core. And I'll show you exactly what happens. So let's load a game as we did before. Let's find an Ultimate game. Night Law. If I load that now, Press the F10 to load the game. All looks well, okay. But we go to start the game. And the game crashes. So we need to reset. Now there's a simple command that you can put into your computer to solve this. And you need to use the command out 32765,48. Okay. Now to do that, you need to hold down the, to get the out command, you need to hold down the shift and the control button. Holding down the control button and press the O key, the letter O. And that gives you the command out. And then it's three, two, seven, six, five, comma, 48. And then press enter. And you've got the OK standard. So we now load the game. And we won't do a reset this time by pressing F10 because it does reset the computer. So we just use the usual J key load Quotation, quotation. And then Night Law loads up again. So let's try and start the game and see if it still crashes. There you go. Works perfectly. Anyway, hope that uh, tutorial helps you. I know a lot of you will already know how to use this, but as I said before, I've had been asked the question quite a few times, what are the, the, the basic commands for loading games on the ZX Spectrum? And if you are new to the system, then you won't know because it's not the easiest system to use. For me, I've always used Spectrums when I was growing up. And when I went to uh, explore the Commodore 64, that was completely new to me and I had to learn from scratch how to load games for that. And that was quite daunting for me. So I can imagine what it's like for people who are not used to using the ZX Spectrum. Anyway, that's it from me. Take care. Goodbye.